Hello my friends and welcome to Paulina Art. Today I'm going to be painting this floral on a canvas bag. As you know, canvas bags are very popular nowadays. You have to carry your own canvas bag when you go grocery shopping or shopping for anything. At least here in Canada, this is how it is. I've been painting a few canvas bags lately and I find it so much fun. I'm going to attach a link to the Amazon.ca where I purchase these pretty canvas bags. And to paint these sunflowers, I'm going to be using the Magic Fly acrylic paint. I'm going to leave a link up here with the review I did of this acrylic paint. And I am very happy to discover that this acrylic paint works great on fabric. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps on how to get the bag ready for painting, how to sketch the sunflowers, and how to paint them using one stroke style of painting. If you would like to see how I painted this bag, stay with me and let's paint together. The colors that I'm using today are titanium white, burnt sienna or brown, bright orange, scarlet red, lemon yellow, and sap green. Of course you can use whatever acrylic paint you have at home. Okay my friends, sorry about the angle but it's better to paint these bags on a flat surface. Now, today I'm working with these beautiful, natural color canvas bags. They're very well made. Because this is natural cotton, they, they can wrinkle a lot. I iron some of them, other ones I put on the dryer. Either way to take most of the wrinkles out. Now, on this one, I'm going to paint some sunflowers. I have painted several of these bags. And today I'm going to share with you the, the idea that I have in mind. When you paint on these bags, you don't really have a chance to make a mistake, clean it up and start all over. Because this is a natural canvas, the paint will be absorbed right away. So it's a good plan to have an idea of what you want to do on this bag. I did a few sketches with sunflowers and this is the design I like the most. And basically this flower is going to be in the center and there's going to be two facing those ways. This one is more center or looking up a little bit. And the way they are placed is like a triangle. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch this on the bag. And for that, I'm going to use color Crayola chalk. And I'm using this because I don't want any line marks from pencils or tracing paper on my bag once the painting is done. The chalk will, will come out very easily by itself, really. In order to place the sunflowers on the bag properly, I'm going to divide the surface that I'm painting on in four equal quadrants, approximately. So I'm going to come down this way, and I'm going to do the same align going this way. So this divides my canvas bag in four quadrants, and I'm going to follow the sketch that I did. I'm going to place one up here. I want all the sunflowers to be nice and large and the three sunflowers to fill basically the whole of the bag. And here's going to be the center. And then the petals of the sunflower are going to be about, about the size of the center. So I'm just going to do a few markings in here 
that I know my petals have to come out like that. The good thing of sketching with Crayola chalk is that you can change this if you don't like it. Okay, I'm going to do the other one. My triangle is going to come to here and to there. The other sunflower is going to be facing this way. So I want it to be more of an oval. And there's the center. I'm going to give you a close up once I'm done with the sketch. And I'm doing an oval shape here for the petals. And some of these petals are going to come inside, so I don't want to make the same circumference around this one. Now I'm going to draw some of the stems. And some of the beautiful large petals that look like triangles. And I'm going to do the third flower in here. I'm going to move the camera so you can see. And the other one is going to be a little bit higher than this one. Of course, you can do your design any way you, you prefer. And again, I'm going to do the petals. Just going to mark where the petals are. I'm going to add more, more leaves. Leaves always look beautiful on a floral. And I might add a leaf in here. Okay, my sketch is done. I'm going to give you a close up. And as you can see, the flowers fill the bag. In order to paint these flowers, I need to add some support to the bag because this is not stretched out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this canvas board and I'm going to add newspaper. I'm going to cover it with newspaper and I'm going to insert this inside the bag. So this canvas board is adding some support to the surface and also the newspaper is protecting the other side of the canvas bag so this paint will not seep through to the other side. Okay, I'm going to get my paint ready. I have a container with water. I have the brushes that I'm going to use. I have floating medium. I have a clean towel. For the other bags, I have used the basics acrylic paint, but today I'm going to give the Magic Fly acrylic paint a try because this paint is more fluid so I think it's going to work really well on these canvas bags. But I will use the basics acrylic white because I find the white in this set is not very opaque. So I'm going to start by applying a coat of paint, a first layer of paint on the flowers. I'm getting my colors ready. I'm going to start with a round brush, dip it in water, and again my friends, I'm sorry about the angle, 
but I will give you close-ups every now and then. And this is pretty much like painting on canvas, except you, this is not primed with gesso, so the paint gets, gets absorbed right away. Make sure you don't get paint anywhere else but the bag, on the handles or any place like that because it won't come out. And I'm just adding the color. And if the paint is too dry, you can add a little bit of water. Don't add too much water though because the paint can spread out onto the canvas if it's too liquidy. At first it's a little strange because these bags, they really absorb the paint right away, but eventually you get used to it. I really enjoy painting these bags. And I'm mixing here brown with orange to do this, this part of the, the center of the flower. And I think I want a little bit more orange. I don't want it so dark. And I'm just adding to create the effect of the center of the sunflower. I'm mixing green with white to create the color I want for the leaves. You can use whatever acrylic paint you have at home, it doesn't matter. Acrylic paint will stay on fabric. It won't wash off. You can use a specific fabric paint if you prefer, but since I have lots of acrylic paint, that's what I use and it works just fine. I'm going to use a large angle brush now because I feel this one is going to help me do the petals of the sunflower. I'm removing the excess water from my brush. I'm going to dab the brush in the floating medium and I'm going to pick up orange and yellow. The yellow in this set is beautiful and bright and I'm going to blend the two colors a bit. And I'm going to add a tiny little bit of red because I want the orange to be brighter. I'm going to use this to do the petals, the first layer of petals anyway. I'm going to start with the center flower and I'm just going to press the dark red at the bottom and move my brush towards the outside. Following the circle that I sketched with chalk, and every time I do a petal, I go on my palette and reload the brush.
I'm going to do a second layer overlapping some of these petals but this time I'm going to add a little white with the yellow. I want the second layer to be a little bit lighter and maybe more orange than red and I'm going to do a layer overlapping this one I want the sunflowers to be very full and if you go over the inside don't worry because we're going to go back and touch up that. But see the white in the, the basics white is very opaque and I can really see it. That's what I want. And because these bags are a natural cotton canvas, you can see the white colors really well. This Magic Fly acrylic paint are working amazingly well on this canvas. So the flower is looking like this. I'm going to add another layer of petals. This time I'm going to have yellow at the toe and white at the heel. Just to add even more of a contrast. And I'm not going to do every single one, but just a few. to make them very pretty, happy flowers. Lots of highlight. Okay, I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to go back and touch up the centers. I'm going to do the petals on these other two flowers. The petals on this one are going to be a little bit different because I need to follow the shape of this oval. And I'm going to use the same colors I did for this one. Okay, I'm going to do just these outer ones and I'm going to touch up the center a little bit more before, before I do the ones coming in this way. Okay, I'm going to let this dry and uh, let's finish this one, the center. So we can do all the petals. Okay, I'm going to let the centers dry. Let's do some of the leaves. For the leaves, I'm going to use a flat brush. And this is going to be large enough that I can work on the leaves. Make sure the brush is covered. And I have white at one end and green on the other. And I'm going to mix these two colors. Let's do, let's do this one. I'm just going to press with the brush and start creating the, the shape of the leaf. And for the other side, I'm going to, to press the white towards the center. You can add yellow to the white if you like, but I'm going to keep it like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other leaves exactly this, this way.
I'm just adding some some stems. I'm going to continue adding the petals on these side flowers and I'm just going to follow the shape of the flower. The petals are going to be turning in a little bit. By painting the petals, it really gives the illusion that the flower is facing this way. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add another layer of petals, like I did on this large one. And I'm adding more white with the yellow, so the overlapping petals really show. And on these ones that are facing this way, I'm going to add some green petals as well. And for that, I'm going to go back to my flat brush. And I have, again, the green and the white as I did for the leaves. The flower is coming this way, so I'm going to do a little bit of a, a stem here that will guide me. And I'm going to press with the dark green in here and I'm going to add some some of these petals and I'm going to join this leaf somewhere in here And I'm going to add some smaller leaves just by pressing the brush and creating the smaller leaves. Okay, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and finish this flower. What I'm going to do now is with a small filbert brush, I'm going to mix some orange and bread. And I'm going to add a little bit on the center just to create um, more dimension on some of the, the petals here. I'm just flicking the brush to create that, that effect. And then the same in this area. Now following the shape of, of the petals to even give more of the effect that the uh, flower is turning. Okay, my friends, I'm going to give you a close up. And the painting of the bag is done. I'm going to do one last thing, which is something I like to do on my florals. And I'm just going to splatter a little bit of uh, yellowy orange around the flowers. I added a little bit of 
splatter because I find that makes it more loose and painterly and I, I like it. The last thing I'm going to do is with a Sharpie. I like to use the silver color. You can use whatever color you want, but this is waterproof. I'm going to sign the bag on the bottom corner here. Okay, my friends, the bag is finished and I'm going to let it dry with the insert inside. This will be completely dry tomorrow. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you learned something new. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment below, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future content from me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.